I made um I made this French toast with some bread we bought yesterday on the way home from the beach. And it was banana bread, but it looked like a regular loaf. So I don't know, we're gonna try it and see. It's not very far from our house, so we click, and I told him that in a year's time, we will have a show, and today we have a show. So, I'll give the mic to him to just tell you his story. Thank you. And then, I couldn't work anymore, so the only thing that I could do was to paint. So I just painted every day, every day with my, the support of my mom, who's over there, she was helping. Okay, um, I was wondering if you could, uh, I guess, deconstruct the 
symbolism of the Bible that you're using and some of the words and just what that represents on a bigger scale for you and just what you want to convey with this religious reference. Could you be a little bit specific to pinpoint a particular work or something? Okay. <laughs> um, I think it, over here there's one, but the one I really seen it was the one in here where the lady is reading the Bible. Yeah. So um, those religious pieces in there, what I wanted to convey was that, for instance, my personal experience, my dad was a priest and uh, he he had a church with uh, another priest and then what happened was there, were, there was a fight and that fight was about the money, like there was financial issues between my dad and the other priest. So what happened, the church divided into two and then all the members went to my dad's side and then some, somehow after some, I don't know, years or months, my dad passed away and then all the members were saying, oh the other priest couldn't take it and they killed my dad. So I knew that religion is not something it's not something for me personally. So this work for instance is challenging the idea of this God that we go to this man of God. You know, so you see that I've written the the, the church and the blood, all the red is representing the blood that people are spending their whole life and every savings and all their money into the church, but what are they getting out of it? They're suffering, their children are suffering, all these things. And also the other piece over there where the lady is reading the Bible, I feel like it makes you, um, and it makes you, uh, like, you, you don't have that, that drive to look for something. It doesn't, it, it takes the power away from you. Because if you believe that everything you need to know in this life is in a book, then you would not even to go out to look for coconut or to look for these things to create something and make some magic out of it. Yeah. You know, you'll be thinking your know, life will be in the sky somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Watch your documentary. <clears throat> I basically need to make a watchy documentary with how much watch you got eat. But yeah, um, another mountain pickup. We didn't go to our usual, usual lady. We went to a different lady today. She wasn't open. But, yep. West African sweets berry. Said to make anything you eat afterwards very sweet. <laughs> We spent the night in the mountains. I mean, not necessarily unexpectedly, but we out here. We came out here for um, Edward's art exhibition yesterday. Um, so yeah, now we're eating some sweet berries. You want to eat these? They're literally growing on a bush here in the garden at Crow's place. Um, but apparently, it's supposed to make everything you have sweet. So listen, even makes water sweet. I just a hint. Of sweetness in the back of your throat. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. Take it out right after. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. It's like unrealistically sweet and fruity. I think it tastes good and like <clears throat> oranges, lemons, works a little bit. Mm. Oh, starfish. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like I haven't uh, sat down and talked to you guys in a little bit. Mostly because I don't have too much to say. 
I've been taking my time processing life. <laughs> Not too much. I've been editing a lot, working a lot on just trying to organize my social media and my, like, just the structure of everything. So, not too much. We have been taking, well, you know, sometimes you, like, sometimes you move in and out of your flow. And we are still shooting for completion for this drop. A lot of people are excited. A lot of people are supporting us. So that definitely helps motivate us. Get it done. But with the grace of the Most High, it will happen. So just taking it easy. <laughs> Trying to be patient with myself because... The bulk of the work I continue to talk about is just like this mental health stuff that I'm working on. Trying to regulate myself, trying to be okay. I mean, I'm okay, so like, I guess calm myself down because I feel like I'm on the edge of life most of the time and it's really hard to pull that layer back. Um, and it's hard to deal with a lot of the trauma that I have going on while I'm also still constantly in fight or flight mode. So, yeah, that has, there's been some inner dialogue there and just the same things I think that revolve on the carousel of thought in my head as far as just wanting community and feeling like I have this longing and yearning for a level of community that in some aspects I don't even know if it's real I don't know if I've ever experienced it but We'll see, you know, I guess sometimes you just have to be open to the inquiry of feelings and emotions, open to what you're going through without judgment. So, yeah. No more suffering and silence. That's another reason what fuels me, feels this series, this vlog series is I don't have it all together. I'm really figuring it out. And I don't mind telling people. That. I don't mind being honest. Like, I don't... I don't know. And it's okay not to know. And it's okay to... To still follow what feels right for you. In our regular Sunday fashion, we are getting soup. Um... So, yeah. I want to drink with the rush. <laughs> Get you the animal to get the motion set.
So, I'm at Serenity House, Malachi, Abby, and there's some other people coming, but basically, we're, we're, we're about to start. We're finna get rocking and rolling. We're finna create viral content. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're finna change the world. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're gonna be recording a short video for Uch Bars. Uch Bars. Uch Bars. Here with this mirror. This one. This is the artist. All right. We are filming a video today, so shout out Malachi. Okay, great, great. What's up? What's up, people? I'm gonna give you all the bone. Hey, you introduce know, yourself. Uh, all right, my name is Och Bars, and this is the first time I'm meeting this very, very beautiful person. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yo, better watch out. <laughs> I think this one is right now. Yeah. Like, just be like, I'm gonna, you don't gotta be like stupid, but just make it like, dang, I thought it was my man, you know, like that before. Okay. Let me just look at this. Would you whisper in the corner? I said, make you I'm a Nicholas, I'm a 